Good morning, everyone. This is a look at your weather for Tuesday, January 7, 2025. I'm Jonathan Mora. So we have been looking at some patches of cloudiness overnight that has been affecting um, the Windward Islands, particularly the Northern Island chain there. Most of that activity, however, is expected to stay north of Trinidad and Tobago um, today. However, a few patches of cloudiness is expected to produce some light to moderate showers. We do have that activity approaching Barbados, affecting parts of Grenada there as well, um, but more so for Trinidad and Tobago. Big. Only a few isolated showers are possible today. We do not anticipate any major rainfall activity, but of course, those patches of clouds, as you're seeing there, will definitely bring in some of that shower activity for the Windward Islands. Now, in addition to that, we have been looking at a cold front that is coming off of the United States there right now. That frontal boundary there that you're seeing just to the uh, west of Cuba there and also near Florida is expected to continue coming down today and it is expected to bring some chilly temperatures towards those areas during the day today and also increase the chance for showers and thunderstorms across Florida, the Bahamas and parts of Cuba as we progress throughout the remainder of today. So those areas could definitely look out for some showers. As it pertains to the precipitation forecast, we do expect today that most of that rainfall, as you can see, will be confined to the Windward Islands. So from anywhere close to Grenada, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, and upwards to Martinique, mainly around the Windward Islands. More of that shower activity is expected to remain north of Trinidad and Tobago, but still a few patches of cloudiness during the day, particularly during the afternoon period, could spark some favoring southwestern areas of Trinidad, Tobago, and parts of northern areas of Trinidad as well. Elsewhere, we have just been talking about that frontal system. You can see those winds pushing down from the United States. It's associated with that cold front that is approaching Cuba there. So chilly temperatures are expected today in Cuba. We can get temperatures dipping to lows of 20 degrees Celsius there, dipping to lows here in Cuba. And also with that cold front, we will see some of that uh, shower activity increasing as we go through the day today. So now let's take a look at the forecast. So taking a look now at the forecast across eastern areas of Trinidad, generally fair conditions are expected, not much in terms of any significant rainfall. Most of that rainfall is north of Trinidad and Tobago and will favor those areas. There is still a chance across southern areas of Trinidad, southwestern areas such as the Carcass and Separia could see an isolated shower during the day, but generally sunny conditions are anticipated. Across western parts of Trinidad, generally sunny conditions are expected and isolated showers is possible across Chagaramas this afternoon, but no major heavy rainfall is anticipated. Generally settled conditions for the entire day today across central Trinidad, any showers will be brief and isolated as well. Across parts of northern Trinidad today, we expect to see generally sunny conditions as well. A few showers possible in Lopino and Maracas and even at Crown Point in Tobago. But again, no long lasting showers are expected during the remainder of the day. And as we move further up the island chain, again, as I said, those showers are expected to occur across Barbados up to Martinique and the Windward Islands, expecting some showery activity associated with some of that moisture that is moving across there. So we can definitely look out for that across the remainder of the Leeward Islands there. Only a few brief passing showers possible near St. Kitts and Nevis, but generally most of that rainfall will be confined to central Windward Islands. Not much is expected over the northern islands. 
Southern chain. Again, as we said, that frontal boundary is expected to bring some showers across the Bahamas and parts of western Cuba, particularly a few isolated showers still possible across Jamaica and Haiti, but no major rainfall activity is expected there. Central America, a wet one is ahead, especially from Belize, um, southward there to Panama, isolated showers and, sorry, scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms are expected throughout the day, so definitely a wet one is ahead for you guys. Across Venezuela and the ABC Islands, not much is happening, not much is expected. In fact, we expect to see generally fair conditions across these areas today. So, my friends in Venezuela and across in Aruba, Bonnet and Curacao, not much is in store for you today. Across the Guianas, we have been seeing those isolated showers popping up here and there across Guyana and Suriname, but the highest chance of rainfall today is across French Guiana there. You can see a lot of that cloudiness is expected today associated with the ITCC, particularly across southern portions of the region. And that's how we wrap this morning's weather updates. You can join me for primetime weather tonight at 8 p.m. I'm Jonathan Mora. Have a good night. Have a good morning, rather. Take care.